Hello and welcome to The Pin Man. I'm Mike and today I'm going to share with you this find that I got off of Amazon. This is a, uh, a new uh, pin storage box that could be used to store anything. But anyway, I'm using it for pins just like uh, you may want to use it for pins. <laughs> okay, I have a video that I did a while back on uh, this wooden toolbox that I got from Harbor Freight Tools. And uh, in it, I show that it could store a lot of pins. I think, I think you could store 166 pins if you used all the drawers just for pin storage. Uh, but this one will hold up to 60 uh, pins. You can get 12 in each uh, drawer. And also these come in a two, three, and a four drawer uh, style it, themselves. They didn't have six, otherwise I would have gotten a six just for, you know, you never know, you may need more. So I got this five drawer. This cost me $50. The Harbor Freight uh, toolbox costs 80. So for 50 bucks, you have a pretty decent uh, storage for 60 pins. So I'm gonna go over uh, kind of the quality of this uh, storage box and uh, you know, just show you another uh, find that I got. All right, <clears throat> first let's take a look at uh, the drawers. The drawers, you have this little notch here. Now there, it says in, in uh, part of my French, as you said. Anyway, mess, messerie, bouton. I guess that's French, and it means uh, button store. Okay, so I guess. Maybe it was for the storage of buttons at one time. But anyway, uh, then it has these little uh, slots where you can uh, put a label for what's in that drawer, obviously. And it's got the little slot here that's little kind of small for my fat fingers. But anyway, uh, to pull the drawers out. The, the construction, I'm not sure what kind of wood this is, but, you know, it's, a, it's an inexpensive wood. And it's, you know, it's got the nail gun uh, staples kind of in there to hold everything together. Probably some glue and that kind of thing. But it's still still pretty good. Uh, it seems pretty solid. All right. It comes, it, it looks, it looks, uh, has that little bit of a worn look to it, which I, personally I kind of like. So anyway, uh, you pull out the drawer. And then you have, I'll zoom in on this, you have, it's uh, six inches this way. So for most of our pins, they're, go they're going to fit. I, I did find uh, there may have been, especially the pins I made uh, were kind of kind of long for this, but uh, most all of my pins will be able to fit in here. So if it's less, if, you're, if your pin is, or pins are six inches or less, then you can uh, fit them, fit them in here. Uh, I didn't measure side to side, but it'll it'll hold uh, 12 pins side to side. Then uh, inside, now I have these. Let me kind of come in here a little bit too to show you a little bit of the construction. Uh, it kind of has this pinkish type wood, and like I said, I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe some of you can. Kind of help me out on that, but it you know I I feel like the construction is uh, is pretty good. So um, see what else can I say? But uh, then you have have this, so it's got this nice stain, kind of a teak looking stain to it, and then the antiqueish uh, hardware there and the print on there. I don't know how long that's going to last, but. Uh, uh, that looks pretty decent, and as you can see there, there you got those uh, little staples. And again, I'll put a link uh, to this, the Amazon link. And then on these on these felt liners. Now, I have uh, recommended this place called uh, GoPens.com. They also sell these liners, but I found something even cheaper. Out here, okay. Penn State Industries, which is where I buy some of my pen making 
uh, products from. They have these. They they have these liners now. The Go pins are about this same size, only longer, I believe. I, I don't think I had to trim them this way much, but uh, the length. So uh, these, what I really like about these, when matching it with uh, this storage bin, is the fact that uh, I can get four four shells worth out of this out of one sheet now with Penn State I think it was for about sixteen dollars and again I'll put a I'll put a link to this as well you get four of these large sheets each sheet you can get four drawers worth of liners so for this I had to use two I needed you know, five, so I had to cut up another one in there. But uh, I, I thought these worked, these work great. So they, they fit uh, perfectly uh, when you cut this, uh, this whole sheet in quarters and uh, make an excellent liner. They're the, same, they're the same quality as the ones that you get from Go Pens. Uh, the, now, the advantage of Go Pens, however, is that you have uh, other colors that you can get them in. You can get them in red, blue, green. I don't, I'm not sure about black, maybe black. And then a, a gray like, like these or a uh, beige. And I think that's what I did my uh, other ones that I got for my, that I bought for my Harbor Freight storage. So anyway, uh, so if you don't want to spend 80 bucks on the Harbor Freight, but uh, these these are on Amazon, and for some of you, you know, depending on how many pins you collect, it's it's small. That's what I really like about it. the footprint on this thing is small. Now I did I did put some um, little rubber uh, footings on this just so I didn't scratch up my uh, where I have it sitting right now. I'll probably move it somewhere else, but it won't scratch that up. But uh, I. I just really thought this was a, you know, a pretty nice little uh, storage bin. So for 60 pins, so you got $50 here, you got about 16, so about $66. You have you have the lining uh, for all your um, pins for your 60 pins. So this should keep you for a while. And again, like I said, the the, the footprint is very small. It's a lot smaller than my Harbor Freight. Uh, toolbox. So I, I really think this is kind of a neat find. And again, if you don't need, you know, 60, but you just want want a few, uh, just two drawer or three drawer, uh, those are available. And so, so again, I, I'll put a I'll put a link uh, to it on uh, to this product uh, to both these products on on the uh, in the description. All right, thanks a lot. You guys have a great day.